Hi guys, thanks for stopping by. Today I'm doing a review of the Swimmer Cap. Swimmer Cap is a swim cap company that makes swim caps that cater to African American hair and I'm sure other types of hair as well, but they really do cater to the African American community in providing us more room in the swim cap for our hair. I was on Instagram one day and I came across this Instagram page and I'm like, whoa are these kids and are these people do they are they swimming with swim caps on and they have all this hair i just couldn't believe it um if you've seen our previous videos sophie does have a lot of hair and in years past i will put her in a regular swim cap and her hair just wouldn't fit the swim cap would wind up fitting right here um, which meant it would eventually either come off or move off of her hair this came to sophie being uncomfortable and I was making it work without a swim cap and just doing her hair every single time, washing her hair every single time that we went to the pool. So when I saw this, I said, okay, gotta try it. Went to the website and I was blown away at what I saw. Um, they had swim caps for locks, for braids, for afros, free hair, you name it, they had a swim cap for it. So. I grabbed Sophie and I said, look, let's look at this page and show me which color you'd like. Well, I gravitated towards the kid's size and Sophie picked out this beautiful gold swim cap. And this is it right here. I ordered it. It cost about, I want to say 14, 15, $14, $14.99. Um, and then with shipping and handling, it came to like $24, $25, which is great and not bad at all. So I went on the website and I was getting ready to order a larger size because I honestly in my heart did not believe that all of Sophie's hair was gonna fit in a kid's swim cap. So I contacted the company and I asked them, hey, what size do you recommend? Told them, you know, that she has a lot of hair. And they said, we recommend that you stick with the kid's size. So I was like, okay. So they explained to me that if I move up, in size then the opening of the swim cap where the cap sits on her head um it would be too big so i stuck with it ordered the kid's size prayed that it would work and lo and behold the swim cap came um as you can see here it says afro kids i'm gonna give you a little tip when you order a swim cap you want to order a color that is easily recognizable to you so when we saw the gold color and Sophie loved it, I thought this is going to be great because you don't see gold swim caps out and about. I honestly don't think I've seen any gold swim caps at the pool. So with this swim cap, if I'm looking for her, boom, look for gold and there she is. So that's a little tidbit that I um, like to use. Get a color that is going to be easily recognizable for you. So it came in this cute pouch, which I love. Um, the pouch is a win-win because if you're anything like me, you have your child take off that swim cap, you throw it in the beach bag and you go. So the next time you swim, you come back and the swim cap has sand in it or whatever particles were in the bottom of your beach bag have found their way to that swim cap. So you have to rinse the swim cap off, dry it off and then place it on the head. So the great thing about this pouch is when she's done, I dry it off, fold it up, boom, put it in the back in the pouch win-win so um, I'm gonna open it up here this is the gold color she ordered and as you can see this is a great size look at that so um, the first day that we swam Sophie had big afro puffs in her hair as you'll see in the pictures and I was just thinking there's no way that this is gonna fit put the cap on her head and oh my goodness all of that hair Fit. Now she did have like four cornrows in the front and a couple cornrows in the back, but the bulk of her hair was in Afro puffs and they were big Afro puffs. When I placed it on her head, um, it sat like right above or right on her eyebrow. Which is great. Um, I will insert a clip at the end of this video showing you how to place a swim cap properly so that you don't pull on the hairline and things like that. So be on the lookout and stay tuned for that at the end of this video but it sat on her on her on her hair and it sat low on her forehead which i couldn't believe and we swam for about five hours i will say that i would have to go in maybe three times at the most 
and pull the cap back down because you know under the cap they sweat the sunscreen things like that the water gets in there and the cap can tend to you know recede back so like i said maybe three times in the five hours i will go over and i would just pull out and down not just down because you don't want to rip all their little their hairline out i'm going to pull out pull back down um and she was good to go when she got out of the water um her hair just two cornrows in the front and a little bit of the braids in the back were damp which in years past swim caps would be her hair would be soaked i'm not gonna lie would be soaked and i would have to go home and wash the hair anyway so we just rinsed those two front braids in the back and i did not have to restyle her hair which was a win win movement did the cat move around no the cat did not move around at all it stayed in its position like it was supposed to besides the going back just a little bit from sweat and things like that this was a win-win for us i want on instagram of course on sophie's page if you're not following us we are at splendidly sophie on instagram um and we're i was talking about the swim cap and how much i loved it and the company did reach out to me and they were so sweet to send a cap for myself oh so this is the swim cap for adults this is the afro midi afro midi there and this is the color pink so beautiful love it and that's um for me for all of my hair and they sent a pink one just like this in afro kid size for her which we have not tried yet but i'm sure it's going to work wonders on her hair so if you are interested in these swim caps i would say go for it um like i said before i'm going to link their website below in the description box and um i hope you like it so that's it for today thank you for stopping by and we'll catch you next time bye